All right, so this one I did a quarter inch and like 080. But I used the map torch. So you can't you can't touch it. It's too hot. But then I thought, you know, is it just a scrap? Uh, like uh, whatever that is on 90 skinny eighth. So I got a small torch. And like just heating up a dot and holding it long enough for the metal to cool down but the trick is heating the metal so when the glue touches it it doesn't immediately freeze so anyway just right where I want to dot the glue this is it instead of welding And put some glue on there. Kind of make a little, I don't know what you call it. Now it's getting a little warm on my fingers. So maybe gloves would be a better solution. But then you can do this instead of the clamp system. And you use your lower glue after you just kind of tack it with the hot melt now what I've noticed I, I've only been playing around just for fun I don't do this anymore but it's got to get hot enough and then you got to give it enough time to cool down completely so I don't know maybe a fan after you get the glue on there to cool everything down But if it's not hot enough, then it, it doesn't work. Now the only other problem, obviously I'm not wearing the gloves, is if I want to introduce some spring to it, like a real world application. Focus. I don't know if maybe Heating it up, hot melting it, and then a banjo clamp every foot or so. And then lord as a tack in between those spots. Then the hot melt will peel off. And then you can finish it with lord. And now I'm going to introduce some spring over here. I'm try to. Anyway, the, the hot melt will peel off. The spots on the one that I tested when when it's when you get the metals really hot, it it does stick. The trouble is what do you do while you're waiting for it to cool down? So I think this is probably more efficient than the banjo clamp system, Johnny clamps. But I don't do this anymore so I wouldn't be able to try out on the whole project
The tricky bit's gonna be where you have springy spots. And maybe that's do a little bit of glue. See like this one came undone. Do a little bit of glue. Do a little bit of banjo clamp. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. I think that one's not very good. But it holds it. And that's something. I've got to wait for it to cool down before we actually pressure test it. But I think for doing a reverse channel letter, that would, uh, make things a lot easier I think the big torches have a problem is you, you heat up too much metal and then the glue just won't set so you don't make any progress as you work your way down the line so I would say you know tiny torch super hot in one spot glue it and then hold that maybe with like I was doing with the stick and then wear gloves and work your way around and then maybe every five, eight inches, you put a banjo clamp. No welding. Huh? How about that?